Here I'll show you how to practice your techniques. I've cleaned all my brushes. I have the palette ready with a few colours. And these colours, the blue, that's a cobalt blue, the raw sienna, crimson. They're the most common colours we mix together. There's a little bit too much crimson and just a little bit too much raw sienna there. And I'll mix them together. Now don't do this. You see my knife's dirty with the white. It's destroyed nearly all my paint. Be very careful. Your dark colours need to be crispy dark without any other colour in them. I'll clean all the bits of white out of there. And with your white also, clean the knife. Get the colours out of the white. Keep your colours separated. We might use that somewhere else. My round hog bristle brush, it's quite a soft brush. If you don't have a round hog bristle brush, you can use the little house painting brush. Either one does a good job on painting foliage. I saturate the brush in the dark colour first and pull it to a chisel point. You see it goes to a sharp point if it's saturated with paint. It's a bit putty like now. And then with a little bit of paint on the very tip, you have your dark on one side and the light on the other. But make sure it's right on the tip of that chisel point. And when you touch it on, it'll give you a little thing that looks like foliage. You see that umbrella? Then we make another umbrella right beside it and another one. That will give us what looks like the foliage on a tree. If you do it slowly, you'll get the light and dark exactly where you want it. So the idea is to get one or two perfect brush strokes and then keep reproducing that brush stroke. Now I've deliberately gone about loading the brush again and here on the side of a board I show you how when you push the brush on it's just the tip of the brush touching and you squash it on a little bit and then take it off and that's your foliage brush stroke almost perpendicular to the board. So this is how you should practice your brush stroke very slowly and then a bit faster as you get better at it. That's the dab dab brush stroke. And after a while you'll start to see that it's easy. Keep them all around, round shapes. But when you get to this stage, stop. You want it crispy, like this. You don't want it faded away. Now the little hairbrush. We load it with two colours and drag it up. This is another one you need to practice. And also, remember when you're painting trees, that you have the branches crossing each other. With the little hairbrush, you'll find the paint runs a lot easier if it's thinned out a little. Then you can practice your foliage. Not right down there. Start your foliage well above the tree and bring it down to meet the tree. They're umbrella shapes. Not like that though. They're too far apart. They do need joining together to make it look like a tree. Some trees are like that, but it's not quite natural. The colour's faded. It's not crispy. That one's too dark. So you really do need to take note of how your brush is loaded. If it's too dark, it's no good in this brushes. It's uh, run out of paint. Now, let's try and get it right. That's it. Join them together. It looks a lot more like a tree. Here's the edge of your board. Don't do this. Please don't paint your tree square. Let them disappear through the top of the picture. It's not a problem. Now here's a little bit of white undercoat and I'll dab on some foliage. You see the brush is picking up the white undercoat. 
it's because the undercoat is too thin and the foliage paint is too thick you need to have your paints all the same consistency the tones of that foliage would have been alright for background trees but you can touch it up for foreground trees and get it nice and crispy again so let's go with a little round brush and we'll put a few branches in there the branches go between the foliage not over the foliage there is another problem with this wet undercoat look closely here dab 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 and then you have a look underneath your brush and it's covered with paint that you've picked up and then you go to reload your brush and you're destroying all your crispy colors on the palette you must wipe the brush clean before picking up paint every time here's a little house painting brush and I find sometimes you tape it up you'll get it to turn into a round brush so do practice away with all your brushes try out the big flat brush for making foliage try out your fan brush put some colors down one beside the other and turn it into grass with your fan brush load your painting knife with several colors crispy colors and put on tree trunks you never know you might end up with a prize winning abstract but the main thing is clean your brush and knife before you pick up paint every time